Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your reading for the next seven days, guys. We're going to go day by day, the 19th through the 25th. It may not resonate with all of you, and if it does not, check your sun, your moon, and rising. Scorpio, I just ask if it does resonate with you at any time that you would give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it for my returning subscribers. Thank you so very much for your support. For your new viewers, um, we would love to have you part of the fam. All you got to do is hit the thumbs up and subscribe, okay? So let's get started, Scorpio. I'm going to do one more shuffle. Here, guys, one more. All right. So we are ready. No, we're not. Spirit says, like, no, we're not. I did see the moon card, Scorpio. So I don't know if it's something that's hidden or something you're trying to find out. Okay. But well, let's just get started. We have the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, 22nd. 23rd then we got the 24th and the 25th and this is what the spirit needs you to know for the overall reading let's get into it Scorpio all right so on the 19th Scorpio what energies will you be dealing with the Queen of Pentacles okay I'm gonna tell you each day and then we're going to clarify, okay? So you definitely could be dealing with a situation. You could be dealing with a tour of the Virgo or Capricorn, or this could be you focusing on your money, being very um, nourishing to yourself, doing something special for yourself. Or there could be someone that's around you that you see is very nourishing, abundant, caring, right? Emotionally available, stable, you may even see someone as a wife or husband material, okay? So let's see. The 20th, you have Seven of Cups uh, choices. So um, this may be choices in regards to your stability. On the 21st, you have the Nine of Pentacles. And then on the 22nd, you have the Strength card. And on the 23rd, you have the Food card. So let's take a look. So... This week, you're going to be dealing with your stability, nourishing, caring. You may have choices. You may even have a choice of a person that you see as marriage material and one that is single. You're going to need your strength to move forward in this situation or to decide what it is that you want. Strong possibility. And once you decide, you're going to take a leap of faith and you're going to move in that direction. Now, Scorpio, you, you also could see someone very loving, caring, abundant. They are single and you have options. You're trying to make a decision what it is you want to do about this relationship, if you should move towards this person, um, but you're gathering your strength at some point in time, or maybe even holding yourself back from actually going out there being a fool. So let's clarify what's going on. So on the 19th, Scorpio, clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio, despair. So you have despair, Scorpio, for, um, so on this day, you're going to feel a little disappointed in a situation. Um, it could definitely deal with your stability. Maybe you're thinking about settling down with this person or you definitely could be dealing with someone who's very caring and maybe this person felt that you had some options and they feel that you have choices and maybe you want to be single um, and you're not really uh, positive about moving towards them. And so they may feel that, you know, that, that they're not what you want and that you want to continue to have your options open. Um, I feel there may be a conversation given, um, uh, reason why you're in despair because you'll be talking to this person and maybe it's not what you want to hear. Let's see. What's the seven of cups here on the 20th? You have thoughts. So on the 20th, be aware of that energy. You're going to really be in your head about the choices and decisions that you need to make Scorpio. Um, 
It is has a woman in the background here, like in that mirror back there. It's like you're thinking about it. Is this the chosen one? Should I do this? How should I move towards this person, right? Like really deep in your thoughts. And your thoughts is going to be about a decision that you have to make. And it looks like you got choices here, Scorpio. So um, let's just go ahead and get a little more information. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Nine of Pentacles is here, mature man. What I'm feeling right now, Scorpio, is looking at this situation. Scorpio, this could be you. you choosing not to be single anymore. Maybe you actually want a commitment with someone. You're in a commitment that you're not very happy with. You're having despair. I'm feeling like maybe there's a long-term commitment that you've been in, whether you're married or just long-term, and you're not very happy in that commitment. You do understand that you have choices, and you just maybe want to talk to someone Either there's someone there, Nine of Pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn, or this is just you and your energy want to be the main male. You want to be single. You want to be free, right? You knowing that you have options. And maybe this person is in the back of your mind. You don't know if you have the strength to walk away from this situation and go out there in the world and see what you have that's new, okay? Taking some, you know, taking up on some of these options. Ooh. Okay. Hold on, Scorpio. Card went all the way over there. So we have message of concern. So there's going to be a message of concern, Scorpio. I'm feeling that you're going to have the need. On this particular day, you're going to be dealing with your power, your strength. Something's going to come in, a letter, a message, a text message, an email. Something's coming in, and it's going to take a lot of strength uh, in regards to that. Okay, so on the 20th, let's see, on the 23rd, you got official person. And then you got that on the food card. So you definitely could be dealing with a legal situation, a separation, or marriage. Um, if you've been waiting for a divorce or some type of um, separation or anything having to do with the courts, um, you're going to be dealing with that on the 23rd, Scorpio. It says official person. So you may get some type of delivery or whatever. And if you're waiting... <laughs> I'm just saying, Scorpio, it just looks like from here you're in despair with maybe a long-term situation, realizing there's someone else you have your interest in, you got options. Here, the main male wanting to be single. Now, I may be connecting with a male or the female, it just depends on the energy you're in. Message of concern, having the strength to go ahead and process and move towards this direction to get out of this long-term commitment. Or this person, you may be in despair because perhaps someone feels you want to be single, you got options, and you're walking away from them, Scorpio. This may, uh, this official person here will give you the information that you need that will be coming in on the 23rd that's going to make you feel free. And I don't know how happy it is, but it's like food card. That's like just walking out there and maybe you at the end of the rope. You're like, I don't even know what direction I'm going. But the one thing I'm not doing is continue to keep going in the direction that I've been in. Okay, so let's get the clarity here. Spirit, why is um, the Queen of Pentacles here with the Despair card? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here with the Despair card on the 19th? Give us clarity. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Okay. Okay, that's too many spirit. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Scorpio on the 19th with the despair card? Spirit say, well, you got that one. I'm going to flip it all the way over there. Safe. Okay, it has to be safe for you to love. All right, so what I'm feeling right here is safe. Like, you don't feel... You don't feel in this situation that... Whatever is going on, because somebody clearly wants to be single here. So, whether it's you, Scorpio, or the person you're dealing with, you don't feel safe to love this person because you feel this person has options and they want to move on. So, somebody is releasing someone 
or having the conversation on the 19th about how they're not happy and they want to move on. Okay, and spiritual is here for uh, thoughts and the seven of cups. So spiritually, you guys are connected or you are connecting with someone else or they are aware, Scorpio, that spiritually you're not connected or you are in uh, you know, it's traditional values or spiritually lessons needed to be learned in this situation. So whatever it is that you're walking away and leaving behind, you will have thoughts in regards to it, regardless to if you do have options, okay? But you may even feel that spiritually you're connected with this person here because they're in your thoughts and your mind. You may feel they're more of a soulmate, more of what it is that you want out of life, or you guys are more spiritually connected. It's like the high priestess. Or also the high priestess is like, you know, the spiritual card is like the high priestess secrets. Maybe there's someone in the back of your mind that you really want to go towards and move towards. And this relationship here, you never felt really like it it it, it served a purpose for the time. But right now, you, you're just not happy and safe in it. Like you're not safe to love. Or well, this person isn't safe to love you because you're thinking of someone else, Scorpio. Okay, mature man and nine of pentacles control. All right, with the control card, this is you as the nine of pentacles and mature man. This is you taking control. This says assert yourself and take charge of your destiny. So what you're doing is taking control to be single. And you're going to be the mature person about it. Whatever is not working in this relationship, you're trying to be mature. So this definitely could be you sending a message to this person in regards and having the strength to be able to send this message in regards to how you're not happy and you don't feel safe in this connection and you want out. Okay? You got missing you. All right? So Scorpio, just be uh, aware that uh, this person that you sent in this letter, maybe you separated, you walked away, y'all been separated for some time. This person is definitely missing you, okay? So you're having the strength that you're missing them too. But what you feel it is, is that it's you want to be free. You want to go ahead and take your own adventure and get into either another relationship or you just want to be single at this time, Scorpio. So let's see, what is this high honor? In the food card balance, okay? So the universe is telling you you need to balance this out, right? The universe is saying with this high honor, whatever is going on in court, whatever has to be separated, split up, you know, with someone just, you know, walking away. They don't know where, where it's going to end. You don't know what the court's going to say. You don't know if you're going to pay money, alimony, child support, whatever the situation is, is just high honor and balance that the universe is going to take care of. It's just something is not an equal give and take. Uh, focus on balancing yourself. So whatever it is in this situation, you are looking for an equal give and take, hoping it can work out in that way. Um, and maybe this person is missing you and they really didn't want this situation to end, Scorpio. And that's, you know, and you're trying to balance it out and you're still trying to walk away from a situation is what I see. Like you're not very happy in this situation. It could have been a long-term situation, whether you're married or not. I feel like you're living with this person. There's someone else on your mind. You may feel spiritually connected. You may not be telling this person that there's someone else you're interested in and you're trying to take control of the situation because you want to be single and free and available to have a, a commitment with someone else or just to be able to stand in your own power and be free to make any decisions you want. Okay, uh, someone is definitely missing and taking the strength to hold on after receiving this letter or document from either you sent it or they sent it to you, Scorpio, okay? And the universe is telling you in the end, this is going to balance itself out. On the 24th, you're going to be dealing with this person could definitely be watching you on social media trying to figure out what is Scorpio doing now that we separated, we're in two different households, we're walking away from each other or whatever. But someone is definitely watching your actions to see what it is that you are doing. They could be studying and, and checking out to see what's really happening here. On the 25th, you have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is emotionally open and available. This is someone with emotions that's available. And that may be the person that you're trying to move towards, um, Scorpio. Let's get some clarity here.
Why is the Page of Swords here for Scorpio? Why is the Page of Swords here? The Page of Swords is here change because you want to change. And this person is watching you because they know that you want to change. Why is on the 25th, the uh, Queen of Cups is here. We have uh, expectations and it came out in reverse. So the way that I feel about this, the expectations, if they may have felt that, you know, Scorpio, you wouldn't walk away. You know, the expectations for you love them and stay there with them and so they watching you because they truly do love you but the expectations was for you to be emotionally available and that's just basically saying you're not right so someone could have been wanting more from you than you were willing to give now maybe at first you was able to give it or you was giving it for whatever reason but now the expectations of being emotionally available, someone doesn't see that happening at this time. And that is why they've been watching just to see what you're doing because they know you've changed. You're not emotionally sharing your cup, you know, your love, emotions with them anymore. So they really don't have any more expectations when it comes to love in this connection, you know, because they already feel you checked out and you walked away, Scorpio. Let's see about why is this change in the page of swords here? Change in the page of swords. And we have deception. So this person is watching you because Scorpio, they feel you're doing something deceptive out here that you want to change. And they figure there's somebody else involved. Could be a Council Pisces Scorpio, right? That could also be it. But somebody feels that you're being very deceptive and the expectations of what they have for you are not being met at this time and especially emotionally. Okay, why is expectation and the Queen of Cups here for Scorpio? Expectations and the Queen of Cups here for Scorpio spirit. Patience. Okay, so basically the universe is telling you, you know, you're going to have to have patience in this situation because someone's heart's getting broke here. They're emotionally available. You're not. I don't think they're used to the behavior of the change that you've made, and they just feel that you're deception, deceptive. So I'm hearing right now, like Scorpio, this person really cares about you. They see the change. Um, they have no expectations of you right now. And um, they're trying to be patient with the way things are going to be playing out or whatever it is, whether it's a separation, divorce, or whatever the situation is. And they've tried to be patient in the situation, but they just don't have any more expectations of you being emotionally available to come towards them anymore. Um, I think they feel that they've done more than enough in this situation to try and show you that they are emotionally available and that they love you, but they have... Uh, realize that there's a change in this relationship and there's been some deception. So they definitely feel you may have been cheating or there is someone else in your life. Now, it could be a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely could be a Gemini. You know, those are the signs that I'm seeing right now. So you guys know how that goes. So let's see. Um, so over the next couple of days, you know, you're going to be dealing with some emotional loss, despair. So on the 19th, just be careful of that energy. But things look like, you know, is you trying to balance it out and work it out with this person. You may have, you know, um, on, on the 20th, it's going to be a spiritual connection. Like you're going to be reminiscing about the higher power. How can you move things? What's best for you? And you're going to be trying to use your intuition. But you feel that there's a, another connection and maybe this person isn't with you because you were in a connection, but this person is definitely in the back of your mind. So you'll have some nostalgia on the 20th. On the 21st, you're going to feel like you need to take control of a situation to get your freedom to move out of this direction or to move out of this relationship and move in the direction you wish. On the 22nd, on the 20. Second, uh, yeah, this person will be missing you. They'll send you a text, an email, a letter, something like that. Um, and they're going to want to communicate to you. But you're going to have to be strong, you know, uh, and uh, again, take control of the situation. Um, if this is not the relationship you want to be in. On the 22nd, you're going to take that leap of faith. Um, with the high honor, you definitely, you know, you may be in a position where you're the boss, you're in charge, 
uh, or maybe you know that there's some things that truly need to be balanced out. Once it's balanced out, you'll be taking a leap of faith to walk away from this situation um, on the 23rd. On the 24th, you're going to be dealing with this. Just know you may not be dealing with this person on this day, but they are watching you because they know that it's a change and there may be some deception in the relationship and they just want to see why you walked away. On the 25th, the, you know, um, it, it's going to be an emotional day because, you know, this person is really feeling emotional uh, because they felt they put a lot of time in this relationship. They was very patient with you. And now the expectations are not there or emotionally available as if you're not emotionally available. They also feel like you're not really caring or putting caring how they feel in the situation and that you are kind of like just for out for yourself and what it is that you deserve in your own happiness. Okay. So and we do have pride under the bottom. So somebody could be dealing out of ego. All right. It could be, a, you know, we have happiness, all right? We have happiness is um, the overall for the this reading. The spirit is saying um, judgment. There's a judgment being made on this relationship. So whatever direction is going in, just know that the spirit guides you actually have spiritual uh, healing here. You could be healing and missing this person, though you still have a lot of options. It looks like you got options. Or you confused or felt stuck or stagnant in this situation while you were thinking about this other person, right? Because um, the seven of, sword, seven of Cups also can mean that you're stuck and stagnant. And maybe you've been stuck and stagnant for some time and you had an idea of who it is you wanted to go towards, but you didn't do anything because, you know, you wanted to make sure that you can come out of this situation uh, with the person that you previously were with. Now, happiness here, Scorpio, your, your advice is I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So, one or two things, Scorpio, you being happy, uh, walking away from something that no longer serves you, something that doesn't make you happy. Um, a relationship that you've just been holding on to, knowing you had to make changes. Uh, definitely, if you're dealing with someone else, there's someone else you're moving towards. But some of the Scorpios just want to be single and want to open up their options to find their true love or to find someone that matches them. All right. I'm feeling this could have been a relationship where you got together financially or maybe a long term, a long time ago, young or whatever. But the, but the relationship has changed. Right. Um, though one person still cares and love the other one. They truly understand that there's been changes in a relationship too. So they're not blind to the fact, but they do just feel like it's deceptive that maybe the way you're moving, Scorpio, and moving away from this connection. Okay. Um, let's see if there's anything else that the spirit would like to say in regards to this. Because this was pretty simple and clear. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So, uh, just know, Scorpio, at the end of the, at the end of the day, at the end of the week, doing this whole um, situation that you know you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. If the despair comes from uh, wondering how you're gonna stay stable, maybe you uh, you were sharing things together financially, and you're going to be walking away from that situation. Just know that. Uh, the spirit has you. There's a judgment made on it. And um, so that is something that you'll be working through uh, moving forward. Okay. So Scorpio, this is your reading. If it resonates with you, definitely give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. If not, I will talk to you guys on your next reading. Check your sun, your moon, and your rising. Bye, Scorpio.